grow by challenging or confirming your own thinking and leveraging the experience of your peers, the advisors and the PEO leadership community to become what you are capable of becoming. Bruce McDonald, uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Canada. I think for me personally, I don't get a ton of opportunity to do formal professional development type work. PEO has allowed me to have experience working with other individuals who have very different perspectives because they're primarily from the private sector. That's really pushed my boundaries of how I think about the business that I'm in. It was an odd thing the first time when you're sharing something with uh, uh, almost strangers. Uh, you spend a couple hours with them a month. Right, so it's about being open and being willing to be a little bit vulnerable and knowing that the people around you care about you enough that they're going to help you and they're not laughing at you or thinking you're the only person with the challenge. It is very lonely at the top and um, that group, once you experience it, you never want to lose that comfort of that group. You come to trust them uh, just because first you see the experience and things that they're sharing and so you quickly, or at least I was able to quickly sort of embrace that. By virtue of being with PEO, I'm working with people on a regular basis that don't come from the same background I come from and they ask interesting questions and thoughtful questions that I take for granted. As a matter of fact, I would suggest that nine times out of ten the challenges that we face are all the same. So when one person opens up and is honest and says, hey, here's where I feel vulnerable, I feel challenged, um, everybody else around the table kind of goes, oh yeah, I got that too. Uh, yeah, when a, when a colleague was uh, telling, he was explaining to the group the power of a handwritten note. Uh, I think he was talking about work-related and I uh, sort of wrote it down that I should try it at home. And so uh, actually for Christmas uh, last year I wrote a, a, a letter to uh, my kids and wife uh, each and it was just sort of a, a letter of uh, thanking them for what they've uh, given me during the year. Of course they've asked me to do it again this year. Growing there is about, you know, sort of that anxiety about considering all the different options and then having clarity that I've made the right decision and moving on. And I think the second thing for me has been this idea that uh, learning is continuous. And so as I think about my personal growth, I'm always now challenging myself to think differently.